you know, if you look at what Patrick Maroon did a few years ago, where he finished at the end of his season, worked his tail off in the summer, and carried that into a career year. And obviously, that's something you're hoping you can mirror. For sure. I think uh, who doesn't? I think there's every single player in in the world wants to play on uh, that right side of that line. So, and if I'm lucky to get that chance to start camp, then I need to take full advantage of it. And and uh, I can't give it up. I can't take a shift off. So, um, like I said, if I do get that chance to start off, uh, I'm gonna do whatever I can to to never let it go. You said you upped your cardio. Was that because of the conversation did the coaches feel that was an area in your exit meetings that you needed to improve? Uh, not not so much. I think uh, our fitness testing is is. Uh, heavily cardio related and uh, it's uh, it's a pass or fail either you get her done or you don't so uh, I, I worked on that a lot this year and, and uh, that's out of the way now now I'm looking forward to getting on the ice and, and showing what I can do on the ice. Is that something that, that you need to keep out of your mind, or is that something you thought about every day when you went to the gym this summer? I thought about it every day. I think, uh, like I said, who everybody I think thinks about it, and um, just the player he is. Who 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 wouldn't want to play there? So, um, just whenever I was on the ice or whenever I was working. Uh, I want to make the team first and foremost, but uh, obviously you want to be in that kind of spot, and and I've worked my whole summer to to prove that I can be in that spot. You're in your mid twenties here now. You've been on a series of one-year deals. Uh, it's you know career time for you. This opportunity stands right there for you. Uh, how big a moment is this going to be for you? It's big. I think uh, last year I was said said the same thing to myself. I think uh, kind of do or die when I when I got called up and, and went onto that line, and, and I thought I proved myself well. Now it's a matter of proving myself well over an 82-game schedule. And uh, um, like I keep saying, though, I, I'd love to be on that line, but if, if I'm not, I need to prove that I can play with other players and I can contribute to night in, night out with uh, whoever I'm playing with. Is comfort level also having Nuge and 100%. Yeah, yeah, I've known Nuge. Uh, we've played uh, tournaments together since... Well, we played against each other when we were 13, I think, back in Airdrie. So uh, it, it's, it's nice. Well, uh, Dable's the same way, uh, never negative, always positive, always upbeat. So uh, those are two great guys to play with. And, and uh, can't really stress it enough how, uh, how, how big of a spot that is and, and uh, how lucky whoever gets to play there is. Do you, you've been through some coaches in your career. You've been around for a while now. Do you, the, the things that stopped you from being a regular on one team and frankly turned into an NHL star. Do you kind of know what they are and do you think you got them figured out? Uh, yeah, I, I'd hope so. I think, uh, like I said, this is kind of a do or die. I, I've had my chances. I've, I've been through a few teams and, and uh, you can only have so many chances before the whole league just says maybe he can't do it. So um, this summer was a uh, wake up every morning and realize what kind of position I'm in, what kind of position I can put myself in. And uh, like I said, if, if uh, I'm on in that spot to start the camp, I'm, I'm going to do everything in my power to never let it go. Um, but if I have one of those 14 spots on the forward roster, I'm going to make sure that I help out the others win. Yeah, I don't know. I've been, I, I, I've been in that position the last four years, up, down, up, down, kind of thing like that. So you can take it one of two ways. You can shut down and, and you can say, poor me, and, and say, this is just, this is bogus and I'm getting sent down. Or you can uh, kind of take it uh, take it in stride, go down there, uh, be dominant in whatever aspect of the game you're dominant in, and get right back up here. So uh, I've always thought that I've had a good mindset when, it, when that happens. and, and uh, now it's a matter of uh, not getting that call in the coach's office to get sent down, but to uh, say you're on the team. Well, you obviously you've got to score goals. You're playing with McDavid, but are there other things that have to happen for you to keep that spot? Do you can you just go out there and score a bunch of goals, and that's enough for you? <laughs> I wish. I, I, I you can't just go sit back door and, and hope for rebounds. I think uh, on that line, I have a pretty good sense of uh, I'm the guy that needs to get in there. I need to get the puck to those guys. I think two guys that. Uh, best in the league with the puck on their stick. So I'm, I'm fine with getting in the dirty areas, getting in the corner and getting that puck back for those guys and, and getting into the nets and and uh, getting those greasy goals. So I, I like I, like you said, I've, I've been around long enough to understand that there's more to the game than just scoring goals. And, and, I, and I think I have a pretty good grasp on that. You mentioned you were on the ice way more than you ever had before this summer. What were you working on specifically on the ice? Uh, everything. I think obviously you can never be a good enough skater, especially with how this league is going. Um, so it was a lot of skating. Um, 
and then obviously just uh, your, your hands, just kind of not, not letting the rust sink in. I think you take a little bit off, but uh, this summer for sure, I probably skated twice as I've ever skated before. And uh, like I said, I'm ready to go and I'm looking forward to it. Now, you've always been a high octane offensive guy. Did you work with the skills coach at all? Just, you know, a lot of guys are focused on shooting from different areas, you know, scoring, especially from in tight. That's right. where the majority of the goals are. Did you have an onus on just you know, scoring goals from different areas in close? Yeah, for sure. I think obviously maybe in the minors I was a, I was a kind of a, a different scorer and, and, and this year I understand that I need to be around the net and I need to maybe get in those greasy areas. So uh, you always work on different aspects of the game and, and uh, like I said before, I've, I've been around long enough and, and uh, I know the aspects I need to work on and I, I feel that uh, I addressed that this summer. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks,